Hi everyone, Ms. Sarik here. Uh, so today's uh, interview question is that what is the difference between uh, the equal to sign when we copy something using equal to sign and the shallow copy and deep copy? So let's see yeah, each one one by one and let's see the comparison between when we copy something using equal to mark, when we copy using copy method and when we use the deep copy. Let's see. So over here, if I just create a list, let's call it be list one. And if I put some numbers to it, let's say one, two, and three. Okay. And uh, I do create a list two. And I simply say that list two equals to list one. Okay. Now I can see my list one comma list two. So it's one, two, three over here and one, two, three over here. So list one is also containing the same thing that what list two is containing, right? So if I make a change in my list one, let's say I want to change this element two to 25. So I'll say list one. And I know this is the first index position value. So I'll say one, and I'll say 25, okay? Now, if I check my list one, of course, this two will get changed to 25. And simultaneously, if I check my list two, oops, my bad. If I check my list two as well, I can see the value at the index position one of list two has also got changed to 25. Why it happened? It happened because, you know, when you use the copying using this equal to mark, what happens that two different variables gets become, but the data is being located at the same memory location. And these two variables are pointing towards it. So if you are changing the data using one of the variable, the other variable, which is pointing towards the same data has also got the same effect. So for overcome that, for overcome that, we got something called as copy. So if I just, again, I'm gonna take the same example. If I simply take list one equals to one, two, three like that. And this time, if I created list two, I'll say list two equals to list one dot copy like that. Run this. Now, if I run my list one comma list two, I can see it is having one, two, three, one, two, three, the way it was, right? So now if I change my, let's say same thing, this index position, which is there at first index position, basically this value, if I want to change this to 25, of list one, I'm gonna select the first index position and say equals to 25, right? And I can see my list one, and we can see that this has got changed to 25. And here itself, if I print my list two, oops, same thing, list two, I can see there is absolutely no effect on list two. The reason is, the reason is when you create a dot copy method, when you when you copy your you know list from your dot copy method like this, what essentially happens that you know two different memory locations gets allotted for two different variables. So even if you're making a change in one variable, it's not going to have effect on the another variable. So this is called as shallow copy. Now, why it's being called as shallow copy? There is you know one con which is associated with this shallow copy. If I just create, you know, one more list like this, okay, I'll create list one and I'm going to create a nested list. So I'll say one, two, three, comma, four, five, six, right? Now, if I say list two equals to list one dot copy, so the copying thing that I'm doing looks good, right? Now, so I can see my list one as well as my list two. I can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this belongs to list one and this belongs to list two. So far, so good. Now, if I try to change something, let's say I wanna change this four to 44 of my list one. So how do I change this four to 44? For that, I'll have to select my list one. Then I'll go with the help of indexing to this particular list, which is residing at first index. And then in this, list, this four is residing at the zero index, right? And I say simply this equals to 44. 
Okay. Now I can see my list one. I can see this four has got changed to 44. And if I just print my list two as well, now, even after using this dot copy method, this has shown some effect. So what exactly has happened? Why this list two element has also got changed? So the thing is that whenever we are doing a shallow copy as such, uh, you know, this, these are the elements. These are, this is one of the element of your list one. And this is one of the element of your list one as well. Simultaneously, this list is an element of your list two, and this list is also an element of your list two. So what happens then when we do a dot copy method, when we copy something using dot copy method, when we are doing some element operations, those elements are not going to reflect in the second variable. But in the case of nested thing, where we have elements inside the element, right? If you are going to do a changes, then it's going to show its impact on the another variable as well. So more or less, if we have a nested list, list, nested list kind of scenario, this dot copy method is not that much useful because even if you are trying to change one of the elements inside the nested list, it's going to show its effect to the another variable which is associated to it. So in that case, what essentially we do, we do deep copy. How do we do it? First, simple, you import copy. And then, and then let's say I'll just defining this list one again over here. And then I say list two equals to copy dot deep copy list one. Right? Now I can see my list one and I can see my list two. Now, this is my list one and this is my list two. Now, if I change this four to 44, the, the ways that we have done before, I can simply say list one of first and then zero equals to 44. So I have changed this four to 44. Let me just have a look. I'll say list one. It got changed. Now, if I print my list two together, I'll see that it has got absolutely no effect. So when we have a variable in a form of a nested list, means element inside the element, this dot copy or shallow copy is not going to work. In case of that, we have to use something called as deep copy, which is present inside the module copy. Okay. Thank you.